I'm Colin Miller. Uh, Cadence Miller. I was born in Columbus, Ohio, December 11, 2012. I was born in Iowa, February 4, 2015. What are your professions? School. School. You're both students. Excellent. Do you remember what life was like? Well, it was very easygoing. Uh, there wasn't like any, we weren't rushed at all. We, we went to a daycare back then. Well, I was in first grade. It was really fun. You were in first grade kids. Do you remember what grade you were in? Preschool. Preschool at Angel House? Yeah. What kinds of things, you call you said life was easy. What do you mean by that? Like there was no shortages of really anything. Um, and we didn't have to worry about uh, isolation back then. Do you remember when you first heard about COVID-19? I was, I, uh, the morning that I first knew of COVID-19, I actually had book club early that morning and my parents were out of town and I was with my grandma and grandpa and I was like, huh, some people don't believe in this? That's kind of odd if people are getting sick and some people don't believe in it. Well, I heard mommy and daddy talking about it. Yeah. What sorts of things did we start doing differently as a family when the lockdown happened? Masks. Masks. Tell me about masks. Um, I'm pretty sure in our family, whenever we went out, we were required to wear a mask. Whenever we went out, where? In public or, um at like daycare sometimes at daycare and then like if we the sometimes that we went to the grocery store also uh they started using thermometers to check your temperature at the daycare that we went to during covid so cadence i think you you mentioned this earlier but what big change happened to our family right before we went into lockdown we got a new sister a new sister what's her name Kobe slash Coco. Kobe slash Coco. Do you think that she was named Kobe after the COVID virus? I think so. What do you think, Colin? I I don't know, but I I doubt it. I think it was a family name. Yeah. How did having that new baby sister change our lives? A lot more diapers, a lot louder. Well, a lot of stuff started getting used, more like water, because we had to make milk bottles. Yeah. How was it different from other school years? Um, there was only two days a week, um, depending on your last name, for a hybrid. Um, on Wednesdays, we'd have the day off, and then for us, I believe it was Mondays and Thursdays that we went to school, but we had to wear a mask. There was only half the kids, and it was, and we didn't have the um, water fountain, so we had to bring water bottles. Um, well, we had all the class there, and everyone was wearing a mask. Can you think of anything that you missed out on? Um, social. Uh, um, being social, I can tell that my little sister um, hasn't had as much experience as pu in public, and I miss out on a lot of time with my friends and a lot of experiences that I think that some people a grade higher than me got. Like, like what do you mean? Field trips when COVID hit, because uh, we were planning to go on one. Uh, first grade was the big field trip grade, apparently. What about when Gigi and Papa had COVID? I felt worried because I um, heard that when old people a little bit older got COVID, then it could be worse than younger people. So I was a little bit worried. I'd always uh, say a prayer before I went to sleep for them. How about you kids? I thought I should stay away. What did you think when we went to get those shots? I felt like that we were going to be a lot safer with these shots. I was a little nervous because it's a shot, 
but I'm nervous for like flu shots. I'm a little nervous for those. And I knew that it would be better for everybody else if we got them. How about you kids? A little bit safer. Support for Facing a Changed World, an oral history of the COVID-19 pandemic, comes from the Margaret Ann Martin Everest Foundation, the Kind World Foundation, Humanities Iowa, the friends of Siouxland Public Media, and listeners like you.